Camadeca Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Eric Camadeca, head coach of the indoor track and field teams. And coach, you guys are at it again. You know, you guys have been going since uh, November pretty much. Pretty much. Um, this weekend, an opportunity for some athletes that have qualified for the MAC already to take a rest and get prepared for that MAC meet. And then an opportunity for some other athletes to get their name in the head and qualify for the MAC meet. And that was taken care of this weekend. Yeah, this weekend was a nice tune-up for those who needed another opportunity to get ready for MAC championships. A couple of people uh, who didn't get the opportunity to compete two weeks ago had the opportunity to compete this weekend. Um, you know, some nice exciting things with those 60-meter guys being able to qualify for the finals. And a lot of those guys are sometimes don't get that second opportunity to run. So it was really great to see those guys do that. Idris Idris had a nice uh, job in uh, 400 t this week, ran about a 52. So you know, it's exciting to see his versatility and his range. And then Dion Hicks had another great weekend coming back in a triple jump, setting the school record on that. Her and Chloe were going back and forth all day, setting the school record. It just came down to who had the last jump. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that a little bit, that women's side and the, those field events. are They're coming along. They're doing wonderful jobs. Uh, and shot putters have already been doing great this season. Yeah, we're, we're very, very strong in field events, uh, very different compared to last year. You know, last year we had the thrower, the group of throwing women. Uh, this year, you know, we're really throwing it in there with the jumpers, uh, not only high jumpers, but our long and triple jumpers. You guys uh, this year have kind of made a home of Susquehanna, but looking ahead to another Pennsylvania location, Lehigh is where you guys are going to be traveling for the MAC meet. Haven't had a chance to compete there, but you guys have been running on some pretty good tracks. Yeah, so the surface isn't too different than what we've been competing on. It's a mondo surface, very similar to what we see at Susquehanna. The nice thing is a lot of our returners have been there a couple of times, so they know what the facility looks like, how it runs. And, you know, and the, the newbies are going to come in there, and it's going to be an all experience for them, just their first MAC championship. So regardless of how many times we ran there, it's going to be something different for them. And it's going to be different. It's a two-day event as well, uh, something that you guys haven't ran into this year. Yeah, we haven't done uh, many two-day events at all. Um, I think some, of, some of them had the opportunity – early in the year but the two day is is you know they go through rounds so we we'll have a couple of people who have to go through the long jump and triple jump rounds they'll have to go through 60 meter and 60 hurdle rounds uh, so a lot of events you know some people who are used to only running two or three events a weekend may be up to four or five or six even this weekend and uh, it's a theme from all season has been some national rankings I imagine this weekend those national rankings will be able to hold strong and maybe improve a little bit yeah so hopefully you know we're kind of in our in our peak our taper phase right now and so we're really hoping to see some exciting things the competition is going to be great across the board we are in a very competitive and strong conference and just going out there and lining up is going to take you to either a school record conference record or who knows even a trip out to nationals and we've been talking about goals and expectations all season what are what are the goals for this weekend and what can we really expect what is the reality of it the number one goal is always to get better. If we go out there and we improve upon our performances that we have been all year, it's going to take care of itself at the end. You know, the men are hoping for a top three finish this year in a conference, which will be a big step up for us. And who knows, you know, the women can really surprise a lot of people. This is a very different team from last year. And a top four, top five finish wouldn't be unexpected from them. Who knows, even a top three. And the continuing national qualifiers and ECAC qualifiers. Yeah, you know, right now I think we're guaranteed to with Danica and Devante going to nationals. But, you know, we want to see what they can do. We want to get them primed and ready. Maybe we could take off ECAC weekend and give them another weekend of rest going into nationals. And, you know, guys like Adam, Kilo, trying to get that opportunity to get to nationals as well in the triple jump. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in those nationals and ECACs that are coming down the line. But first of all, MAC and taking care of business at the MAC meet this weekend. Absolutely. Thank you. Good luck, Coach. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.